Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to book vendor invoice in SAP S4 HANA. This is the server which we provide. So on the desktop, you can see the login icon of SAP. You have to double click over it. Then select the system in which you are going to book. Here we need to select the client, then our user ID and the password, press enter. This is the first screen you will see after the login, which called SAP Easy Access screen. We are going to book vendor invoice, which is related to the services received by the company. It is not related to the material. For inventory, there is a different T code or the transaction available in the SAP, which I'm gonna explain in coming videos. Now we are going to book the services received by the company such as freight, courier expenses, conveyance, professional services like this. For this in SAP, we have to use the transaction code. In short form, we say T codes. For booking any vendor invoice for services, we have to use FB60, which we enter in this field and you can press enter. We can see the header enter vendor invoice company code PQIN. In SAP, there are two types of users. First, who configure the SAP system, which we called consultants. Second is front end user, which they do the document posting they normally don't do any configuration so this t code is always used by the front end they book the invoices basically they are the executives account executives who book the invoices but as sap is installed in very big companies like reliance tata so the demand of the account executives having knowledge of sap is very huge so we are providing the training the complete training for sap you can contact us at the given number for getting our training so now we are going to book our invoice in sap all vendors having their vendor codes in big companies they have thousands of vendors so we cannot remember their codes so we have to search for searching any value we can see a small icon over here you can click on it or press F4. We will see the search option. Click over here. You can see a lot of criteria for searching the vendors. Normally we search the suppliers by company codes. By default, your company code will come over here. So make sure you have entered the correct company code. You can enter a short name of your supplier or leave it blank and click over here to start searching all suppliers will come over here so we have to select which we are going to use so this time i'm gonna use this one double click or select and click on this arrow button our vendor will get selected second one is the invoice date so you can enter any invoice date which is mentioned on the invoice here we have to enter the invoice number which is mandatory field posting date will come automatically but you can change here we need to enter the amount here we need to enter the currency in this case it is INR and here we need to write any narration which we want here we need to select the expenses account which we are going to debit so you if you remember the gl code you can type or you can search by clicking on this icon by default our chart of accounts has been selected which is assigned to our company code so make sure the correct chart of account has been assigned chart of accounts is nothing but holding all our gl codes these are the all gls created in the system so we are going to select let's say freight outward 
and here we need to enter the currency and one more compulsory field which is cost center so if you remember the cost centers you can type directly or you click on this icon button and you have to search it all cost centers are controlled in the controlling area so you have to select the correct controlling area otherwise you will get wrong information so i'm removing it and i'm selecting the company code only so that i can see all the cost centers available in the company code in which i'm working right now so i'm going to select let's say account cr and now we have to enter okay invalidate i got some red message red message means we cannot go further in the next window or the next option so i have to correct the date format all and we were getting some messages in the yellow it means these are the for informations only you will not stuck anywhere now we have to simulate simulate means we can see all automatic postings or our gls amount cost centers so this is the format for simulating and we have two options for posting one we can post directly by clicking over here or press control s or we can also park this document park means it is not yet posted in the systems it will not reflect in the gl or the trial balance or balance sheet it is just parked see one account executive has parked the vouchers they they took the print out they attach all the relevant invoices documents with that voucher and give it to a senior person senior executive for checking verification and they use the same document number and they post it so this is the scenario which normally used in the big companies so but now i am going to post directly by clicking over here and on the below side we got the document number double click over here and you can select right click copy and close by clicking over here and now we will use a t code called fb03 you have to remember all these t codes and we will use this time slash n it means slash n means it will come out from the current transaction and then type your next transaction fb03 so it will automatically come out from this transaction and logged in to the next transaction which is fb03 in this case and by default we will get the document number we want to see so this t code fb03 is used to display the document here we need to enter the fiscal year or it will select automatically from the system date press enter and we can see the document we can see the print preview and we can take the print out by clicking over here and once we click over here it will get print and you can attach the documents with this print so by that way we can enter the vendor invoice in the sap s4 hana system hopefully this video will help you if you like this video hit on the like button and share your thoughts about this video by commenting thank you for watching my video please come back again